Be Holy. Be Holy is a broadcast ministry of believers dedicated to saving the souls of all men and women. We teach the words of God that people all over the world may hear the voice of God and obey Him. God doesn't want to show us His wrath or His anger. He just wants us to repent and be holy. And after one repents, he or she can be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. But certainly not before they repent. Listen, we really can't even discuss prayer until one repents. Yes, hell is making its way towards the unrepentant heart. But it is Be Holy's commandment and mission to warn everybody. Not to control, to warn. The Word of God is spirit and it's life. That's why we take the Word of God seriously. We're not using shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We're not trying to trick anyone or... Or change the word of God. We tell the truth before God and all those who are honest and live by truth. They know the truth. They realize that we are telling the truth. Listen, friend, we've been preaching and teaching for over 20 plus years and the Lord Jesus is satisfied with our efforts and we want to keep it that way. Next on Be Holy. Yep, I found it. The United States is in the Bible. Be Holy. <laughs> All right, listen, we want to welcome everybody back to Be Holy. We're glad that you're here with us on today. Today is a great day. Oh, man. Yes, it is a great day. Um, I found this verse. There was this chapter here. Uh, it, it talks about this U.S. of A. All right, this U.S. of A is in the Bible. Sure, I found it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But you'll listen to what I'm saying and you'll see exactly how it feels like the USA is in the Bible. It, 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 it's a great thing It's a great thing Today Oh man Today is a wonderful 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 day uh, You're alive I'm alive You're able to hear me I'm able to hear you uh, You can text me You can email me However you want to do it You know Let me know what we're doing How If we're, if it helps It helps If it don't help Tell me that too You know Hey Um Yes, head on over to podbean.com and download the broadcast and share the link. Share, share, share. Get about 10 people in your uh, group text or something or whatever. And let's share that thing and let's talk about it. Let's see if see if what we're what we're listening to or what you're sharing is any good. And if it's no good, maybe it can help somebody else later on. Maybe it'll help 10 years from now. Who knows? You know, I don't I don't go around expecting people to learn a whole lot from me. I don't expect you to learn anything from me. All I do is say what God says. And God says, if I just remind you of what he says. I'm a good minister. That's what he called me. And anybody who does that, if you do what God says, you're considered a good minister. If you uh, remind the people of what God says, you're considered a good minister. Not how how fast you run and dance. Not how how fast you uh, fall out on the floor. Mm -mm. That's good, though. If you want to do that, <laughs> go ahead and fall out if you want to. But I'm telling you, it's all about reminding people of what God says. And if they change, great. If they don't change, I don't know what to tell you. We can just wait and give them time. Give them time to change. You know, nobody, I don't expect anybody to change today. You know, I, I expect you to get involved with God and let God change you. Let God show you what to do. Show you how to think. All right. Also, you can text the word give to 614-363-6133. Again, you can text the word give to 614 363 Six one three three, and let God use you on the prompts. Now, that's going over to Proverbs twenty eight. Proverbs twenty eight is where we're going today. Uh, start at verse number one. The wicked run away when no one is chasing them, but the godly are as bold as lions. That's what God says. The wicked run away when no one is chasing them. Anything scares them, they run. But the godly are as bold as lions. The godly stand like kings. Like they run everything. The king of the jungle. You know, that's, that's the, the godly. Verse number two. Uh, these are listed things you can do today, you know. <laughs> but this is talking about our society right now. When there is moral rot within a nation... Its government topples easily. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to leave it right there. But wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. And I'm just telling you what it says. I'm not applying anything. You look into it and ask God what it means. A poor person who oppresses the poor is like a pounding rain that destroys crops. 
Hmm. A poor person who oppresses the poor is like a pounding rain that destroys the crops. <sighs> Listen, nobody should be a be be oppressed right because God set you free nobody should be oppressed <laughs> but when a person a person that is poor in spirit or poor in, in godliness when they oppress another poor person it's like destroying crops nobody benefits from that nobody nobody you know like the uh, people used to when they had slaves they used to uh, at least benefit from the slave's work. But if the person is supposedly who's supposed to be benefiting from a slave's work, right? If they're poor in spirit, they're poor in understanding, poor in treating people right, poor in loving God with their whole heart, poor in spirit, right? If they oppress people, nobody wins. Nobody gets anything. Nobody gets anything from it. It's like destroying the crops, the food that's actually supposed to help people. You're destroying it. You're destroying it. To reject the law is to praise the wicked. Hmm. To reject the law is to praise the wicked. To obey the law is to fight them. You know, a lot of times uh, countries have uh, laws that are you know, they're, they're laws, but they're not necessarily right. You know, um, there's some laws that are right. There's some laws that are wrong. Uh, but obeying the law helps you fight the wicked. The, what, the laws are supposed to protect the innocent. The laws are supposed to keep everybody on a, on a playing field, the same playing field. Right. But sometimes uh, people reject the law. And when you reject the law, you praise the wicked. And when you obey the law, you fight them. So if you want to fight the wicked, obey the law. You know, uh, if you can, you can go through the laws of Moses, if you want to do that, don't lie to people. Stop trying to take their stuff. Don't 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 covet what they have. Love what you have. Do what you're supposed to do. Love God with your whole heart. Treat people right. And you fight the you'll fight the, the, the wicked. Then you'll fight the wicked. If you want to fight evil, that's what you do. Love God with your whole heart and treat people right. Do that, and then we'll find out. Verse number five, evil people don't understand justice. See? But those who follow the Lord understand completely. If you want to understand justice, you better follow the Lord. That's, I'm just, I'm just, there it is. I don't have to go and explain anything. You can hear that. Evil people don't understand justice. But those who follow the Lord understand completely. Not necessarily those who follow the, the Republicans, not those who follow the Democrats, not not those uh, not the president. No, 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 no. Even people don't understand. Justice. You're not going to be a part of some organization and understand justice. You can fight for justice or whatever, whatever you want to do. That's not understanding justice. The best thing is to understand justice. Evil people don't understand justice. But those who follow the Lord completely understand. So in order to understand justice and really to promote justice, you need to follow the Lord. Not organizations. Mm -mm. You know, you can be a part of organizations or whatever, but it's all about following the Lord. Now, how do you follow the Lord? The Lord gives you the guidance. Not your pastor, not your church, not your Bible study. The Lord gives you the guidance. That's the way you'll understand completely. Verse number six, better to be poor and honest than to be dishonest and rich. And some people would beg to differ. <laughs> it's just better to be poor and honest than to be dishonest and rich. Some people say, oh, no, I'd, I'd just be dishonest because I got to be rich. Mm, okay. But this is what the Lord says. It's better to be poor and honest than to be dishonest and rich. That's what he said. I, I don't have to grab anybody's name and blast anybody. Everybody can read this and hear this. And if God gives you insight, then you'll understand this. Verse number seven. Young people who obey the law are wise. Those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. Hmm. 
Isn't that something? Young people who obey the law are wise. Those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. And some people say, oh, see, they didn't have all the laws that they have. They got, we have these types of racist laws now, and we have this laws. I'm going to tell you right now. It says here, God says, young people who obey the law are wise. What is the law? Love God with your whole heart and treat people right. Love God with your heart. See, you, you, you're trying to make USA law, uh, the American law, the thing. Yeah, we, we this is where we live. I mean, that's. It's what we have, or whatever country you're in, you that's the laws you abide by, right? But the law is this love God with your whole heart and treat people right. If you do that, you'll do fine, you'll do well. You'll do well. Those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. Young people who obey the law are wise, those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. Notice that they don't bring, uh, it didn't say they bring shame to God. Or to even themselves. I mean, I'm sure it does. But the key point here is it brings shame to your parents. If you care about your parents, you'll pay attention to what kind of friends you have. Because mm -hmm. wild friends will make you shame in front of your parents or bring shame to your parents. Verse number eight, income from charging high interest rates will end up in the pockets of someone who is kind to the poor. Income from charging high interest rates. Mm hmm will end up in the pockets of someone who is kind to the poor. So they can uh, charge high interest rates or, or whatever. Some kind of way is going to end up in the pocket of someone who is kind to the poor. Income from charging high interest rates. Somebody will say, well, in order to take care of the poor, we should uh, charge higher interest rates. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm just reading what it says. Income from charging high interest rates will end up in the pockets of someone who is kind to the poor. Hmm. God detests the prayers of a person who ignores the law. Hmm. God ignores prayers. Ah, that's that's okay. God, det God detests the prayers of a person who ignores the law. So you don't love God with your whole heart and you don't treat people right. But yet you're praying. God detests those prayers. Rich people <laughs> may think they are wise, but the poor person with discernment can see right through them. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. Our Be Holy podcast is at Podbean or contact us at beholy116 at gmail.com or 614-268-7757. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. And for your convenience, you can now text the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. Again, the word GIFT to 614-363-6133. And we thank you for your support. Be holy.